Scene five and scene six, but scene five is the castle of Dunsinane. Um, so we're back with Macbeth. Um, you know, they are getting ready to uh, march, okay, across towards him. He is going to hear reports come to him that Burnham Wood is marching. How do you think he's going to respond to that? Okay, pay particular attention to that. Does he keep his arrogance up? Is he now scared? Is he doubly confident? Okay, because remember, he still has that other prophecy to keep in mind. You know, no man of woman born will ever harm me. Okay, so he still has that to hold on to. Um, so pay particular attention to this, uh, the, these two short scenes um, and how he responds to hearing about them marching across and then ultimately, you know, keep an eye on his evolution or de-evolution as a character. <laughs>
and begin to doubt the equivocation of the fiend that lies like truth. I begin to, I pull in resolution footnote, I restrain my confidence. Okay, so my confidence, I'm pulling it back a little bit after hearing upon this. And I'm starting to question those double truths. We, talk, we talked about equivocation earlier. You know, there's uh, something said, but then it, it's kind of a lie, a subtext of a lie underneath it. And so he starts to question those from the witches. And I go, oh, that was a lie. Then what else could be uh, a mild fabrication, maybe? And that's ultimately, um, you know, where he's thinking. Because he goes, well, I'll fear not till Burnham Wood do come to, to Dunsinane. And now a wood come towards Dunsinane. Okay, so he's crushed. Um, the bottom half here, he's uh, decided to go out and fight. He puts on his armor and at least will die with harness on our back, with armor on our back. So he is going to go out and fight now and, you know, let out some of this, this, this anger and loss and all of that. Um, scene six dealt with, uh, the, in the countryside, it was showing Malcolm, uh, said, okay, drop the bows, show our numbers, and attack. Okay, so... A lot of this stuff is happening on, off stage because we can't have thousands of people on stage. We can't, have, we can't have a dozen people fighting on stage. It would be too much commotion. Okay, so they come walking out with their bows, and then if they have bows, maybe it's just imaginary. Maybe they do have props. Um, props were very minimal, uh, you know, back then. Um, and so they come out, hey, we're charging, and then they walk off stage. And you know that in your mind, that's where it is. So when Macbeth exits, you know where he's headed. When these guys come out and come back on, you know where they were or where they are going.